So we're now going to create our bitumen that kind of combines all these stones together. So if we just uh, create our little section up here for our bitumen. Let's start off with the clouds one and the clouds two. Blend these together with the soft light. Let's change up some of these values here. So let's go into the scales, find it one. Let's change the dis disorder to 0 0.37. And let's change the disorder of this to 0 0.25. And then we get a little bit of information from both of these clouds. And let's do a multi-directional warp. Let's blend a uh, multi-directional warp it on itself. And let's do an intensity of 7.68. Change this to chain. We don't want we want this to be relatively flat and level so that we don't get large undulations uh, through our tarmac here. So let's do a high pass. And put a radius of 5.15. That way we get rid of a lot of the large undulations. And then let's slope blur this a little bit on itself. So let's do an invert of itself so we can start to pinch some of the values. Samples up. Put the intensity to 0 0.2. Keep it at blur. So we can see that it goes from that to that. Just kind of pinches a little bit on itself so we get some sharper shapes. Let's start to add a little bit more interest into this. So what we can do is let's add in some more noises here. So let's go for another Dirt 4. Duplicate this Dirt 4. And let's do a scale of 3. And a disorder of 0 0.66. And scale here of 2, we'll leave the disorder at 0. Let's do a soft light on this as well. We'll do soft light. Let's blur this a little bit. Quality 1, and let's just do a little bit of a blur, 0 0.8. And a histogram scan. Bring up some of the values. Do a higher contrast of 0 0.94 and a position of 0 0.77. And then let's slope blur this a little bit. So let's do, let's bring this over here and slope blur this. And we can just use this noise down here. Let's add an auto levels in there. Just so we're playing with the fill range. Let's set our slope blur samples to full 32. Let's change this to min so that it only eats in itself and change the intensity down to 0 0.34. Uh, and let's add in a levels node and then let's just round out some of those values. Let's add in a blend node here. Uh, and I'm going to add a little bit more variation into this. So let's put in a black and white spots too. And let's do a multi-directional warp. Change this up a little bit. Bring it down a little bit to 2.88. Let's change this to average. And we can do a histogram scan. So I'm just going to duplicate that up here. And let's put contrast down. And let's have position value of 0 0.74. Let's invert that. Let's blur it a little bit as well, put the quality to 1, and let's do 1.69 for blur value and auto levels, so we have the full range, and then let's multiply this down on top of our noise here, and we'll keep that at 1, and then let's blur that all together, the blur, quality 1 and our intensity to 0 0.4 and then let's subtract this noise from 
our previous one. So let's go to subtract and let's bring the value down to 0 0.35. And then we just gives us a little bit of sort of lower values there, some indentations. And then let's have some areas where it raises up. So let's do a safe transform. We've already made this noise, so let's just utilize this again. And let's offset this in the X by 0 0.33. And let's rotate it to 104 in. And let's do a screen blend to raise up the values a little bit. And we can bring this down to 0 0.48. Excellent. So this should do for our bitumen. Let's just bring this up here. Tidy up with just a touch. Let's frame this off as our bitumen. And let's blend these two together. See what we're working with here. So let's do blend node here. And in fact, let's do an auto levels on both of our noises we have here. So our bitumen and our stones. And then let's blend these together with the max lighten it's there now let's say our bitumen is overpowering so let's do let's add a range node in and we'll put a range up to one but we'll bring the position down to 0 0.28 and then drop that in and now we can start to see our stones again with our bitumen. We have some areas where there's no bitumen and some areas where there's a lot and then some areas where we just have loads of stones. Kind of cool. So we're going to want a mask for a mask to kind of pull these out um, eventually. So let's just create that right now. So let's duplicate this node and then select both the inputs and press X to invert. And then set this to divide. And let's grab a histogram scan node. Let's put the contrast up to, in fact, let's bring the contrast, keep the contrast to zero and let's just do 0 0.01 in the position. And then that gives our mass a mask here for what we just blended. We're going to do a couple extra little things here just to help um, set the bitumen in nicely with the uh, stones. So one of these things, one of those things that we're going to do is a non-uniform blur. I'm going to non-uniform blur this based on this, but we're going to make some changes to this a little bit first. Let's put an edge detect in. 1.05. And a roundness of zero. And then let's invert and blur it a little bit. 0 0.45 should do. And then we're going to put this into our non uniform blur. Let's have our non uniform blur blur at a value of 0 0.6. And then we can leave the other settings as they are, but we'll bring the samples and the blades up to the fill. And then let's zoom in a little bit. We'll see what that does. So it kind of just joins the bitumen in, in with the stones and just connect, connect, connects them a little bit better. Just do it before and after. You can see it just kind of blurs them into each other a little bit. Now let's just add, subtract some of these darker values back. So let's do blend node here and let's subtract. And let's subtract our noise in. From, so we grab this one. Then we can subtract that value back and let's do a value of 0 0.29. And that'll just add some of these indentations back that we may have lost in the blur. And also just brings in, it pulls some of our stones as well down rather than just the bitumen. It'll pull some of our stones down and give a, we're now getting some of this, some of these sort of rougher 
worn indentations. Now, what I would like to do is just to kind of pull out the bitumen stones, the bitumen from the stones a little bit more, is just do like sort of a slight indentation around each stone. Let's pull this over. Let's put down a bevel node. And run our edge detect hist or histogram scan over. And let's do a distance of minus 0 0.003. And then let's subtract that from our main height map. Subtract and let's do a really small value, 0 0.08. Let's zoom in. We can see it just, it's just going to pull the stones up a little bit and the bitumen down a little bit. But we don't want that uh, everywhere. So let's take a mask from somewhere. So let's just put that in just so we can see what that looks like first. So it just pulls the stones out a little bit. Makes it look like a sort of rougher tarmac where the stones have uh, pulled out a little bit more. Uh, but we don't want it everywhere for this texture. So let's create a mask. Let's do a histogram scan and then let's use this noise back up here so don't want to waste and add create new noises where we don't need to and let's put our values in let's do a position of 0 0.32 that should be fine let's put that into our opacity there take it out so and put it back in And it just raises some of them back up. So it just gives us a little bit more, a little bit of vari variation in amongst some of our stones and just pulls some of them out and leaves some of them in. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping again here. Great, so let's get let's now add a little bit of our bit of noise into our bitumen layer here. So let's start off with a dirt three. Scale to three. Do a safe transform. Let's tile that twice um, and then do a max light and blend on that. So we have some sm larger scale noise and some smaller scale noise. Let's do a levels node on that just to bring out some of those values. So let's pull the black value to a bit there and let's bring the white value up. there and then let's blur it just a touch so 0 0.05 so it's really subtle blur and then let's do a fractal sum base bring the put the roughness to 2 and the min to 12 and the max to 7 That'll give us a little, quite some heavy noise there. And then let's do a histogram scan at a position of 0 0.29. So just pull out some of those values. And then do a max lighten blend mode on that one. We're now getting a, several different kind of variation and levels of fine noise. That should be quite good for our bitumen. Now to add in a little bit extra noise, let's put down a slope blur and let's take our height map into the input and then let's find another noise we want to use. So let's use this cloud noise down here and then let's put our samples down to 1 and our intensity to 0.2 and it gives us a lot of this fine noise with some of these larger noises, larger shapes. And let's max lighten these two together. Get some nice variation here. And let's do an auto levels. Make sure we're using the fill range 
and then let's do a screen blend mode onto our top on top of our our height map here. Let's do a screen. Let's put this right down to 0.21. I mean, here you can see all these smaller shapes going on, but I don't want them. Let's just see what we've got here, but I don't want them to be on top of our stone, so I only want it to be on the bitumen. So we need a mask. So let's come back here to our bitumen mask. So this is our mask here. Um, let's put the blur node down. And let's do a little bit of a blur. So 0 0.35. Just so we don't have a hard cut where it stops. And there we go. And now it looks like sort of micro pebbling plus just some noise for our bitumen. Let's do some housekeeping here. Now to finish off our height map here, I'm just going to add in some uh, larger macro shapes to our, our tarmac here as it is just a little bit flat. So to finish off our height map, I'm just going to add in some macro noise. And it's just because it's looking a little bit flatter, so on the, a little bit on the flat side, so I just want to put in a little bit more macro noises into it. So let's put down a blend node. Now let's take something with the larger shapes in it. So this, let's take this node here and plug that in. And let's put this to soft light. Uh, a value of 0.57. And then do a slope blur grayscale with an invert of itself. Samples are up to 32 and let's put the intensity to 0 0.001. I just want to, I just, I'm just trying to kind of make it a little bit sharper. But I don't want it to be sharper everywhere. So let's do a blend node plug this in to the slope blur version and the copy off version. Let's take our blurred height map or blurred sorry our blurred mask of our bitumen and let's plug that in there so it only affects the stones. And that so let's just plug that in. And let's do let's add in one final macro blending shape. So let's do it here. Plug that in and then let's go back here and choose this noise so it's got some large shapes going on here. So let's choose this and let's plug that in over here. And again, let's do a soft light and plug that in. And that's our height map complete. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. You can watch the next part by clicking the screen or the link in the description. If you would like to get your hands on these source files for this tutorial, then they can be found at the link in the description below as well.